smash the throttle. Freaking awesome right now. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Haven. Now, if you'll excuse me for a moment, please ignore the car behind me. Just for a moment, I just want to tell you a story. Now, a few months ago, we attended a rather large event courtesy of Legado Motors as they launched the Dong Fung brand. Uh, at first glance, I was stunned to see this beauty right here, the ALS huge hybrid behind me. Then, I got to drive it for the first time a few weeks ago in Ilocos, actually, and I was in awe. So here's five things I love about the 2023 Dongfeng ALS huge hybrid. Okay, first thing I love about the ALS huge is the exterior design. It has commanding presence, that huge grille LED DRLs with the lit up nameplate ALS in front. Oh, and that elegant body. You're sure Dongfeng has really stepped up their game. Right, number two is interior space. Now inside you immediately feel very comfy, especially with the front passenger seats. Just look at that. I have a leg rest. Your car doesn't have this. You get panoramic sunroof uh, with subtle starlight, ambient lighting here at night, black trims, and wireless charging right here. Plus, this thing has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but sadly, we can't show it to you now because this particular car is a demo unit and they don't have it yet on this. But rest assured, DFM said, well, I believe them, <laughs> that uh, they will have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto ready for customer cars. Next up is the engine performance. Now, the ALS Huge packs quite a punch. It produces 241 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque. Impressive, yeah? This is because it's a hybrid. Now, the electric motor alone produces 174 horsepower. It helps propel the 1.7 ton beast from 0 to 100 in just 8 seconds. All right, next up, number four is the standard tech. Now, you get full level 2 driving assist, including intelligent cruise control, a lane keep active from highway speeds going down to stop and go. Uh, the left keypad, which is this one, it doesn't have um, descriptions or anything right there. Uh, this is dedicated to the driving assist features and it quickly allows you to tailor from the levels of your assist during driving conditions. Uh, what else? There is cameras present uh, that can flag pedestrian crossings, stop signs, uh, rail tracks, and stuff like that, which is actually very nice. It just pops right here in the dashboard. So, yeah. And lastly is the price. Now, you might think that this car costs as much as like what? Two million, three million? No, this car actually costs 1.8 million pesos. 1.888 million pesos to be exact. Now, for that amount of cash, with this amount of car, and that is a huge yes for me. So, though I've been loving the recent surge in Chinese vehicles locally, the ALS is one of the biggest surprises of 2023. I did not expect Dongfeng brand to come up with such a superb car. The ALS hybrid is certainly something to think about if you're planning to purchase a hybrid vehicle very soon.
Alright, so welcome back to Auto Haven. And now, as the season and the year has come to a close, knowing us, we won't back down without a bang, right? And that bang we're talking about right here is the new 2023 Dongfang Alus Huge Hybrid. So, here are a couple of things that Dongfang should have improved on with this hybrid. Alright, so reason number one is that despite the front seats or the front passenger seat rather having leg rests, us back here, we don't have that. I mean, kung ito todo mo na, sana meron din kami dito sa likod, di ba? I mean, it's crazy. Alam mo bakit walang leg rest dito? Bakit? Because you're all peasants. Peasant bench. Ouch. Ah, oh. mm, mm, mm. oh, the feels. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, that's gonna hurt no, me. Joke lang, joke lang. <laughs> joke lang, guys. Don't cancel us. <laughs> don't, please don't. <laughs> Alright, so reason number two is that the handling of this car is not as responsive compared to its competitors. I mean, sure, I gotta say, it is actually tuned as a cruiser, not a bruiser. I mean, not like its competitor, Hapal H6. <laughs> All right, and lastly is the fuel consumption. Now, it's not what you might have expected. I mean, even though it's a hybrid, DFM, or Dongfang Motors, actually claims it to be an averaging of around 22 kilometers per liter. But after driving it around in the city of mixed driving, it is a combined of 15 to 16 kilometers per liter. I mean, sure, it's not that bad, but it's nowhere near that number of where they expect it to be. And also, it's nowhere near as the uh, Abal H6. There we go again. <laughs> And there you have it folks now before we end this video we just want to say it's been a blast this year it's been crazy we have a lot of adventures and we've also um, tested a lot of different cars this year that are new in the eyes and it's just really fun we just want to say thank you thank for you, you know um supporting us in any way support <laughs> supporting us and you know we always enjoy um, reviewing and giving you guys car content in you know in many different ways and in many different platforms and we just appreciate you guys you know yes we do yeah but so. not as much as we appreciate the manufacturers who help oh, us yeah. the there we go yeah thank you guys oh my gosh yeah it's all of this won't be possible without actually them and also of the course. people watching but yeah you know you get the point yeah mm -hmm. true so mm -hmm. uh happy holidays guys happy merry holidays, christmas merry happy christmas. holidays happy new year happy new year and you know more blessings in the coming years more adventures for you guys of in the course. coming year we There's going to be a lot, mm -hmm. a lot of adventures next yes. year. And we can't wait to share those all with you, which is, you know, so excited. Yeah. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned. And with that, we have a huge dong thing. Yeah, I know. It's a hybrid. <laughs> yeah, <there laughs> we <go. laughs> okay. Uh, who's driving? Uh, you drive. I'm you look driving. like, you know, I look like you're driving.